If you're watching this, chances are you've probably at least heard of FPV, the 21st century technological feat that puts you into the cockpit of your own drone through these FPV goggles. Only thing is, if you're getting into FPV, chances are you're going to be spending a good amount of money on it. You have to buy the goggles, the radio, the drone parts. And once you crash your drone while learning to fly it, you're gonna have to buy new parts. You're gonna have to buy new drones. It is quite an investment. But the good news is FPV is a hobby and a craft that has a very high potential to make return on investment, which means there are many possibilities for you to make your money back using FPV. Hello, my friends, my name is Kai. I am a professional videographer, freelancer, and now aspiring FPV drone pilots. It's only been seven months since I've gone into this hobby and this craft, yet through just these seven months of doing this, I have already begun to discover many different possibilities of how you can make an income doing FPV. And I wanted to share just three big ones with you today. So whether you're somebody that's interested in FPV and deciding if you wanna make the jump, or you are a seasoned FPV pilot who's looking to make an extra form of income, here are three ways you can make money as an FPV pilot. The way number one in this video is going to be freelance work. This could be anything from filming someone's birthday to filming someone on an ATV. You have to get creative with FPV and find out how you want to use your drone to film a specific subject. Over the last few months, I have been in love with this specific model. This is a Shen drone, Squirts V2, and it is a Cinewoop drone, which means it is a ducted drone that is safe to fly around people and is still relatively powerful. Another option is this five inch drone, which is super popular amongst hobbyists in FPV. Only thing is that mine personally has been bugging out, so that's just a personal issue. On top of that, I have been cut by this before. It is not fun. And if you're trying to fly around people or indoors, this is definitely not what you want to use optimally, right? Because why would you choose this flying blender when you could choose this flying blender that at least has protection? So if you want to make money through FPV doing freelance work, I would highly suggest buying a Cinewoop so you can at least fly around subjects and around clients and around people and cars and such and not be as concerned into chopping a finger off or something like that. I don't think you'll actually be able to chop someone's finger off, but I still wouldn't test it. So you've got your drone, you've built it, you spent a lot of money on making a good drone and buying a good action camera because you're gonna want one of those in order to get that crispy 4K footage. But now you're wondering, how do I start getting work? It doesn't just start coming after you build a drone. And I've learned that the hard way, but I have also learned tactical ways where you can get clients. And I'm about to share that with you right now. So thankfully, because we live in the 21st century, we have access to social media and a lot of search tools that can help us find the people that want to find. So because FPV is such a new thing, not a lot of people or clients know it even exists yet. So your job is to find those right people. Before we wanna start searching, we wanna figure out what kind of people even want to use FPV to capture their stuff. Let's go into Instagram and find a potential client. San Diego motorcycles, how about that? And your first client doesn't have to be somebody big. Your first client should actually probably be either someone lower profile or a friend. That way you're a lot more comfortable with the process and you're learning as you go. You don't wanna screw up on a big job. So when you start, just do it for free for a few jobs, build that portfolio, and then you're gonna start being able to offer that portfolio and show people that you can do this type of work, that it's high quality, and that you're willing to do this work for high quality pay. If you do a good job, they're going to remember you and they're going to refer you to other people. And that is how you grow your network. And that is how, if you keep doing this consistently, after a good amount of work, you can find a reliable client base. This looks promising. I could literally message them right now. Hey, my name is Kai. I fly FPV drones. Here's some of the stuff I've gotten before. I think it'd be really cool to get some bike footage sometime, but we could get some pretty dope stuff together. Let me know if you'd be interested. And we'll send this. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna work with them at some point, but I'll send them my reel. And yeah, that took like two minutes and I may have a potential client. The thing that I think we often forget as creators and as freelancers is that we can reach out to clients ourselves. It may be scary, but that is the way that you get to pick and choose who you wanna work with. The worst case scenario is that they're gonna say no. And you're like, okay, I didn't lose anything from that. On to the next one, I lost two minutes of my time, but I learned how to write a better Proposal, so you know, it's a win-win situation. Just keep going and just keep writing proposals. Keep reaching out to the people you wanna work for and you will build your freelance portfolio. 
And if you are looking to go further and further into this freelance drone work, I would highly recommend you getting your certification, whether that be your part 107 in the US or anything else, whether you're in other countries. The reason why you want to do that is just so you don't get fined or something by the FAA. But if you're doing small work, then... If you guys would like more in-depth information though on how you can get freelance work, just let me know in the comments below and hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos that could help you potentially land your next big job. The second way you can make money as a drone pilot or an FPV drone pilot is not always the easiest thing to create, but if you can, it becomes passive income and it also increases your influence, which allows you to get opportunity to bigger and better jobs. And yes, you guys, I'm talking about YouTube and TikTok because both of those platforms offer ad revenue. Now, when I say that this is not going to just happen overnight, I mean it's unless you are very lucky, but luck only favors the hardworking. So you're going to have to put that work in. And once you do, then your interest will begin to compound. And so while you're doing freelance work or whatever job that you're holding regularly, if you continue to do YouTube videos or TikTok videos, you could potentially be making a second stream of income, which will diversify your income and allow you to get your money back long-term without you having to even be at the keyboards all the time. Possibility number three of getting paid doing FPV drone work, I think is extremely underdone right now. It is creating a service. A lot of us FPV pilots have spent a ton of hours and time learning about voltages, learning about frames, propellers, dynamics, putting together a drone. And usually we only use this knowledge when we're either helping ourselves build a drone or helping a friend build a drone. And I think with all the time that we've spent learning this stuff, you could be allowing yourself to take much bigger advantage of your knowledge. And this is where the idea of coming and creating a service comes into play. A lot of people who are going to be finding out what FPV is are going to want to get into this craft without having to learn how to build and all of these things. If you're like me and you decide to get one, you can't just go to a store like DJI and say, I want an FPV drone. You gotta buy all the different parts, the motors, the frame, the light bulb battery. You gotta do it yourself, put together this whole drone. Bolts, screws, soldering. There's just a lot that you have to do to make this FPV drone happen. So if you want, you can create a course on how to learn FPV because it is not an easy barrier and people would pay money to learn from you, especially if you are somebody they can trust. And even if you don't create a course online or at a classroom, you can still offer one-on-one -on -one services to help somebody build a drone. So if you can create a service, whether that be a class or a build workshop or repairs or anything, then you can actually help a lot of people who are trying to get into this growing hobby, or you can teach people. And both of those are very, very much needed right now. So. I'd recommend, if that sounds interesting to you, to hop onto creating that and learning how to do that. So those are three ways you can get paid doing FPV, but I have one bonus tip for you guys, and this will encapsulate all of them. It is to get creative because this market, guys, is so new. There is so many possibilities of FPV that we haven't even discovered or explored yet. Just remember that. Recently, I've been combining one of my longest passions for dance with drone videography, and we've managed to achieve things that I had only been able to dream of before. With creativity, it's possible to spin these three options I gave you into a million different sectors. There is space for everybody. All you have to do is combine different ideas and keep experimenting, get creative, and you will find a way to make your money back through FPV. And even more possibly, if you love it enough, a living off of FPV. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Again, my name is Kai and my mission is to help aspiring creatives turn their passions into a livelihood. And if you are looking to get into FPV and supporting the channel, I would highly recommend checking out Beagle Drones. These guys have been my good friends and now my sponsors for the last few months. They are creating drones specifically for beginners and so are Newbie Drone. And so there are two different options you can choose guys. If you want to go ahead and simultaneously get into FPV but also support the channel, go ahead and click the links below and buy from them. That's all I have for now, guys. But if you have any ideas for videos or questions, comments, concerns, please go ahead and leave them in the section below. I will respond to them as quick as I can. And yeah, have a great day. Best of luck, and I believe in you. Till next time, peace.